Interest rates just rose, so should you buy a property right now? And if so, what should you buy? Where should you buy in this episode? Like every single month, we'll be doing a show and tell of the types of properties, 10 properties that my clients have bought in January 2023. I've presented these on my Facebook group. I will answer the question, should you buy, by showing you what you can buy. And then I'll give you inspiration, hopefully an education on how to buy. It. So if you're interested, carry on watching. And I want to say just really, really quickly that hard decisions lead to an easy life and easy decisions lead to a hard life. So, so many of you may be thinking, look, I don't know what's happening with the global economy, inflation, interest rates are rising, my cost of living is rising. The media is saying the property will crash 40, maybe even 50%, even though that's never actually happened before. I'm just not going to buy a property. Look, that's your prerogative, but always remember, easy decisions lead to a hard life. Hard decisions now lead to an easy life in the future. My name's PK and I help people build passive income through the Property Investment Accelerator using data without needing a $15,000 buyer's agent every single time in this channel. Talk about the economy, talk about property and financial happiness. Smash the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up. Let's go through 10 properties. No one does this. I'm really excited. And as you can see, all of these properties have been posted on my Facebook group with more than 30,000, you know, amazing, amazing community. And so they're all verifiable. Everyone who's bought these properties has been tagged so you can go DM them if you're not already in this group and ask follow-up questions if you wish if you think that I'm fibbing and I haven't just plucked random great deals these are just the average deals and I've posted the deal every two days on my Facebook group for years and years and years there's thousands of deals join so 10 properties number one here we go three properties in three months in three cities in three states all paying for themselves even with these current interest rates this is the latest deal now this is by Vishal amazing amazing member of our communities bought this one twenty thousand dollars under market value that's based on cba valuation so as i'm going to go through i'm going to give you some tips and tricks and inspiration hopefully as well so cba valuation as soon as you buy a property or three months after get a cba valuation because you might find that what you've bought is under market value and that will allow you just within the first three months to extract equity and have that as a bit of a either buffer or have that as a deposit for your next one contributing to a deposit. This is six and a half percent yield almost, and it's leased before settlement. So, you know, even though there's like interest rates rising, if you can get these high yielding properties, they basically almost, or most of them do, pay for themselves at an 80% LVR. Of course, if you take 108% LVR, then they cost a little bit every every week, every year to chip in, or if it's a lower LVR, then they're even more positive cash flow. But this is a good sort of litmus test, right? In this interest rate environment, try to get stuff with at least six in front of it in terms of yield. This is freshly renovated with Sidex. So the renovation is great because it means that there's no big maintenance bills coming up. And Sidex is really important in some markets, especially if the demographic that lives there has things like boats or vans or trailers. That just gives them a bit of an extra as a tenant to say, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose this property. All right, so this one was bought for 419,000. Like I said, 440 bank valuation at purchase, instant equity. Total funds required 75, so it's not like a lot. You might be in Sydney thinking I need 100 grand to buy a property, you don't. And the rent is 520 a week, really, really strong. Remember, yield alone is not enough. We need that growth to be able to get growth in the short term because future growth then compounds on strong short-term growth. That's how you know strong or advanced property investing works. Really good vacancy rates, I mean, it's pretty hard not to get a good vacancy rate these days. Block size is really good. You really want that block size to be at least 500, if not 600. The land to asset ratio is more, more important. So the value of the block is more important than the size of the block, but above five to 600 is a good sort of barometer brick. 1997 build, so anything built after 87 has great tax depreciations. Vishal bought this from Sydney in Queensland without catching a single flight, didn't use a buyer's agency, he's used, saved $15,000, and he's built a team around him, like property managers who've done all the due diligence, the inspections, organized a building, pest inspection, everything, for him, he's rinsing and repeating and building passive income. This is the property, okay? So 
I mean, I don't know what to say about that property. The numbers are more important, but it's nice looking. Here's the second property, off market, beautiful 6.7% yield cash flow deal, fully renovated and it's growing. So can you get high yield, high growth at the same time? Absolutely you can. This one costs nothing to hold because it's such high yield, even with higher interest rates, okay? And you got tax benefits as a bonus. We don't you just buy property for tax benefits. No one wants to, or anyone with a brain doesn't want to lose a dollar to get 50 cents back. That's negative gearing, right? But if it has bonus tax benefits because of depreciation, then that's okay. All right. So you can get positive cash flow properties that are negatively geared. Okay. That wasn't a mistake. This wasn't on realestate.com or domain. So you built a relationship with agents, which anyone can do. You don't need a buyer's agent. Get on the phone every Monday, 5, 10, 15 minutes with a few top agents in your suburb that you're looking at. Get these deals off market, freshly renovated. Okay, this is Versus. Like I said, everyone is tagged. Everyone is there for you to engage with amazing, amazing community members, amazing, amazing clients. Save $15,000 by not using a buyer's agent. 440 purchase. Funds required 80,000, rent 565 a week. You know, everything else is just great. Bought in Perth from Sydney. So you'll start to go through, you start to gauge as we go through the next eight properties where we're buying. So hold out. And the last property I'm going to show you is my absolute favorite, the 10th property. So hold out for that. You can skip ahead if you want, but you know, there's a lot of good stuff in the middle as well. So don't risk giving the keys to your financial future to someone else, guys. You can do this yourself. I mean, Versha did this herself. Amazing, amazing. I mean, how, how can you fault this type of deal? Next one, 7% yield cash cow. This is actually my favorite Queensland suburb right now. I'll give you a clue. It starts with F. Okay, a lot of my clients know what this is. Um, starts with F. It's in regional Queensland. There you go. Try to look that one up. Property costs nothing to hold. Once again, for those of you who are like, oh, interest rates, interest rates going up. Well, Get these types of properties, right? They don't cost anything to hold. Freshly renovated, quiet streets, close to everything, which is always good. Amelia Hong, you know, she's done really well. I love to see the fairer sex, you know, getting onto the property ladder. They deserve it. They do so well. In fact, in my experience, they do better in a lot of instances than their male counterparts. I just want to see more and more females, you know, just have that pride, have that courage, have that strength to take that first step. Just like Amelia, purchase price 385, 60,000 was required to get into this property. Rent 520 a week, you know, bought in Queensland from Sydney. So once again, interstate, interstate, interstate without catching a single flight or using buyer's agents. Don't become dependent on a property company for every single property purchase. That is not how to bring wealth into your life, into your family over the long term. This is the property right here. Okay, so you on the outside might think, hey, this, I don't know, this is a bit of a, oh, what's it going to be like on the inside? Side, but check it out on the inside. Beautiful, beautifully renovated. So don't judge a book by its cover. Wow, 8% positive cash flow, 8% yield positive cash flow deal bought $32,000 or 12% under market value, okay? So it's giving him money. This is giving Heshan right here tagged, amazing guy, young, really driven, really hungry, okay? He's getting paid to make money. He's getting paid to achieve capital growth. That's what positive cash flow means. $30,000 instant equities, bought this for 273. So you might be like, hey, I don't have a lot of money. I'm under 30, I'm under 35, I'm under 40. Hey, you only need $50,000 to start your property journey, just like Hishan. Okay, this fact, this is a second property. All right, rent 420, you know, great data, low vacancy rate, bought this in Queensland from Sydney. So you can see Perth and Queensland are common themes in terms of where we're buying right now. Don't pay a buyer's agent $15,000 to send you properties of real estate and domain, guys. You don't need someone to do that. You can do that yourself. Really lush, you know, amazing garden. Number five, 7.1 percent yield high cash flow deal beating two buyers agents that doesn't mean we've paid more and outbid them but we've beaten them based on negotiation tactics he's bought this Erhan has before the first open home beating the quote unquote pros anyone can become a pro very little barriers to entry to become a buyer's agent and you can become your own buyer's agent guys you can get this one he's got this one three bedroom easily converted to a four bedroom you know huge block in a quiet cul-de-sac we like quiet cul-de-sacs even though like the the shape of the land may not be f perfect it's not rectangular but the fact that it's quiet 
compensates for that purchase price 400 funds required 75 this is a second property so it's saved thirty thousand dollars in buyer's agent fees 550 rent everything else is great told you the block size was big 860 and look don't be fooled into buying an ineffective two to three thousand dollar course from a buyer's agent that then upsells you to their full service. Lots of courses going out there saying that you can get these deals yourself, but they're really just simplistic, superficial, basic knowledge. And the buyer's agent will be like, oh, now that you've done my course, I see you're struggling. Why don't you use my service? Fifteen thousand dollars. Don't do that. OK, here's the property. I like this kitchen, especially right? really nice wooden features, really nice gas um, top on the island. Beautiful. Next one, 8% yield, positive cash flow property, even with higher interest rates, plus capital growth. Yep, you can get both. You know, it pays for itself. Cha-ching, under $300,000, fully fenced corner block. A lot of people say corner blocks aren't good. You know, as long as the two streets at the corner block is on a quiet then corner blocks are actually preferred to non-corner blocks because they have value add potential development potential granny fat potential side access potential that's what um, attracted swasti in this deal she's tagged as you can see here negotiated really well during the current contractual or conditional period so you don't have to just negotiate before you sign on the contract you can even negotiate between when you sign and the unconditional time of the contract there's ways in which you can do that and don't be shy okay purchase price 260 needed less than fifty thousand dollars to get into this deal rent 400 good good black block size bought in queensland from sydney and you know, just self-sufficient to do this again and again and again and no one cares about your money as much as you do this is exactly the philosophy of swasti and check this out it's a nice corner block and she can rip this house up maybe in two years maybe in five years and build two amazing corner block value add potential now the 10th property is my favorite one we're up to the seventh one no money down deal 6.6 percent yield on a street with only two houses sold in the last two years 10 years sorry so this is really important when you know interest rates are rising when the market falls in some pockets or the market plateaus or in the next 10 years every suburb will go through dips it's areas where there's owner occupier appeal those are the ones that that stand the test of time and that is exactly what you want to look for and that's exactly what joel has found in this property in this amazing location and i want to say no money down or zero money down how do you do that through guarantor loan so his parents came in and didn't give him the money but it's a guarantor loan so i've done a video on that search it in the youtube search box put my name in a guarantor loan you can figure out if you're young in your 20s and your early 30s your parents can help you with actually giving you money getting you onto the property market all right so this has more than 95 percent owner occupies like i said before solid as an ox it's zero funds required to get in four hundred ten thousand dollar property five hundred and twenty five hundred twenty dollars a week i mean yeah that's that yield is salivating this is the property right here amazing amazing next one this is number eight four properties in three states in 12 months the latest one is a 6.5 percent yielder through an smsf so how do you buy through an smsf it's the same way as you buy outside of an smsf the only difference is that you have to put in a bit more deposit maybe 20 30 maybe even sometimes 35 percent and you really want that property to take care of itself so you need something that's positive cash flow good depreciation benefits short walk to coles medical center uh, and park and he's just really building a war chest for retirement is tanvir he's done amazing amazing well i mean four properties and three states diversified across 12 months goes to show how motivated he is four hundred fifteen thousand dollars total funds required 125 because you need to put additional deposit in lower lvr like i mentioned through because of smsf regulations rent per week amazing 520 everything else is great he's based in melbourne bought this in queensland and look i honestly <laughs> i'm honestly saying i post these deals four times a week for years and years so go back and look at the hundreds if not thousands before if you haven't already joined my facebook community you can tear you can engage with the people who've actually done these deals and that's what will give you the best trust that yeah i too can get this done 
Ninth property, 7.2% positive cash flow. Stun A bypassed the agent, okay, and struck the deal directly with the seller. So what Justin did, he was like the agent was playing hardball, so he went directly to the seller. Yes, you can do that. Doesn't mean he hasn't paid agent commissions, the, the seller that is. He's still gone through the sales agent, but he's gone directly to the seller to negotiate. Now, that is an advanced tactic and something that, you know, advanced property investors should do. Anyone can do it, even if you're the first time property investor secured this before the first open by agent rejection. That's exactly what I said. There's a chronic rental shortage here. So the tenant actually paid one year rent in advance. Now there's some tax implications for that, but that just goes to show the types of locations where you should be buying where there's chronic, chronic, chronic housing shortage. You're actually doing people a favor by putting more investment rental properties in the market, positive cash flow and high growth location. I love to buy these types of diamond properties, $385,000 property by Justin Pham. Total funds required 75, rent 530. I mean, these, these numbers Hard to go by them. He's bought interstate, um, yes, in Perth from the East Coast, and he's building passive income. There's just, just so much information, I would say misinformation online. So I'm just trying to educate, inspire you. Like I said before, this is the property right here. Nothing too flash, nothing too bad. This is just how money is made in Australia. Honestly, don't know many other ways to make money in Australia other than real estate. Now, this is my favorite profit. I'll go through it real quick, but $172,000 of instant equity on a 6.5% yield subdividable property on 1,397 square meter block. So it's like subdividable, it's positive cash flow, you've got instant equity, it's growing in value. Okay, so a minimum of $85,000 of withdrawable equity at 80% LVR. So why is that different from this instant equity? It's because withdrawable equity is less than your total equity in the house because the bank only gives you up to 80% LVR or 80% of the value of the house as loan. If you want to pay LMI again, you can go up to 90%. All right, so that's the difference. An identical house on a 642 square meter block sold for 610. He bought this for 438. Okay, so it's cheaper than this other house and it's also bigger than this other house. That's why we're so sure based on what the valuations are coming in at that there's instant equity here. It's a corner block. So you can subdivide this into two to three or build a granny flat. So if you want to, you know, make two, three hundred thousand dollars, subdivide it. Or if you don't want to get that net wealth up, you rather concentrate on passive income, build a granny flat for one hundred and fifty, two hundred thousand dollars. Get the rent up another three, four hundred dollars a week. High growth location, dead set, perfect property. Now, I haven't tagged the client in this. I've just heard JV because he was a little bit shy. But if you're a client, then you can DM me on Facebook or you can ask in our personal or private um, community uh, for just Property Investment Accelerator members. I'll give you his full name and he's so willing to share all the, the details of this property within that private um, community, which is away from Facebook. So if you're a client, yes, you can access the whole details. I'll tell you JB's full name. You can engage with him directly. So purchase price 438, true valuation 610. This is not made up, like, this is based on a really solid comparable Total funds required eighty thousand dollars. Rent five fifty. Guys, like the science of property investing is easily learnable. Honestly, like data doesn't lie. I might be lying. <laughs> Other people might be lying. I can make mistakes. I'm fallible. I'm a human being. But numbers or cold hard data does not lie, nor do results. So hopefully this has inspired you, educated you. Check this out right here. This is the property. I mean the green uh, lit up bit. You know. It's hard to tell if it's good or bad, right? But it's the numbers that we're focused on. So learn to scroll through real estate and domain. Learn to go on and find off-market properties. And don't look at the, the property picture, but put your glasses on and understand the numbers of that property. It's like seeing the matrix, just digits in front of you, like Unico. That is what you should be seeing as a property investor because that's where you can identify a fantastic gem in the haystack. It's not what the property looks like. It's the numbers. You 
got to learn to read those numbers to level up to be able to do that you know you have to invest in the six inches between your two ears i'll leave links below to my podcast australian property mastery with pk on spotify itunes and google also my facebook group where all these deals are and thousands of others with clients tagged amazing community with almost 30,000 people now australian property mastery with pk found facebook i'll leave a link to that below as well hopefully this inspired you hopefully this educated you i'm not spruiking anything if you're not comfortable buying a property don't do so but should you buy now or should you wait is dictated or answered by the quality of these deals that members are getting and they're making money right now both positive cash flow and growth and where to buy you can see we're mostly buying in regional parts of australia especially queensland and also perth there you go all transparency for you to see my name is pk hit the subscribe button give it a thumbs up i don't think anyone produces videos like this i'm so grateful for you my community i'll see you next time catch you later bye